We learned about uh, function and function definitions in the previous video tutorials. Today we are going to learn more about functions and function scope. Function scope or a local scope is the code block uh, or any uh, body of the Python functions or Lambda expressions. This uh, Python scope contains the name that you define inside the function. If the local scope is an inner or nested function, then the enclosing scope is the scope of the outer or enclosing function. Function provides a nested namespace, sometimes called uh, a scope. A variable which is created uh, a func uh, which is created in inside the function is uh, called a scope or local scope. So uh, we can uh, uh, create a variable inside a function, and we can access that variable inside that function only. That is a local scope. So uh, a variable which is created inside a function belongs to that uh, local scope of that function and can only be used uh, inside that function. For example, uh, let's define a function square and uh, create a local variable inside that uh, the square function. Then return the square of x. So this variable x is uh, only created inside the function and can be used inside this function. So it cannot be uh, accessible outside of this function. So this is called local scope. Uh, when, when, when you run this uh, code, it returns the square of x, that is uh, 16, 16. This is function code. So when, when you call the function, it uh, returns the result of that uh, function. We also create nested function to access a local variable outside, uh, inside of a nested function or inner function. In uh, other programming uh, language, uh, I, I think uh, uh, you may know uh, about a nested loop. You can create a loop inside another loop. So uh, that is called a nested loop. So we can also create function inside function called nested function. So we can access the local variable inside a nested function. As we explained in the above example, and the variable x is not available outside function. That is a local scope. So it cannot be uh, available outside of the function. But it is available for any function inside the function. That is a nested function. Let's try to uh, see uh, an example. A variable can be accessed from a function inside a function. So the function, the outer function is what? Uh, square. We create a, a local variable inside this uh, square function, inside the uh, outer function. And we print the result of this function. S is the square of uh, x, the power of uh, two, then the square of uh, the result is what uh, then uh, in the uh, string formatting, you can write in the string formatting, you can watch how to format strings in the previous video tutorials. Then we can uh, define another function inside the square function. This is inner function, inner function. So we can access the variable x, which is created in the uh, outer function inside inner function. We don't need to def, uh, create the variable again, but we can access that uh, local uh, variable inside the, uh, the inner function. That is what uh, uh, local uh, scope. But this variable x is global for uh, cubic, q the uh, inner function. So we can just access the local variable inside the inner function and uh, print the result. The cube of uh, x to the power of three is what the cube of the variable x. Then we can uh, call the function. This function is called inside the inner uh, outer function because uh, the function cube is 
defined inside the outer function it could be called inside the outer function but outside the inner function this is to access the result of this function to return the result of this function now we uh, call the function square so the result would be uh, uh, in the a square function first returns this uh, result then the square of 4 is uh, 16 then finally uh, return the result of cubic the cube of uh, x is 4 is 64 so this is local uh, variable we can access local variable inside a nested function that is inner function but we cannot access the variable x outside this uh, square function because of the variable x is only accessible inside the function that is called local scope to access the uh, variable uh, globally we can define a global scope in python we can also create a variable uh, in the uh, main body of the python code that is called a global variable and that belongs to the global scope the global scope global variables are available from within any code and it can be uh, accessible either globally or locally the variable uh, which is uh, created in the global scope we can access that variable either global or uh, local uh, scope uh, because of uh, we can access that variable everywhere anywhere in the uh, 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 python program because of it can be uh, publicly uh, accessible let's try to see an example a variable which is created outside the function is a, a global and can be used by anyone the variable x is created uh, in the global scope then we define a function to it uh, we can access a variable x inside this function because the variable is uh, already uh, defined in the global scope and we can access anywhere in the program either inside function or outside of that function so x the power of 2 then uh, add 2 to the result of uh, the power of 2 then return the result then we call the function and assign to the variable func And we can print the global scope variable x and we can print the uh, function function then x is 4 uh, we can directly access the value of x and we can return the result of the function function then function perform some uh, expressions so we can return that uh, the result of that expression so this is what a global scope so variables which is created in the global scope we can access either locally or globally in the uh, program in the main uh, program but variables which is created uh, inside the function it can be accessible inside that function only that is a global uh, a local scope a function will return the local x and then the code will print the global uh, x here we uh, define uh, va two variables a global scope and local scope a global scope x equals to 6 then we define a function a scope and we create a local uh, variable which is uh, the value of uh, 10 then return this uh, 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 value x in this case it returns the value of a local variable not a global variable a global variable because the, uh, we define if if uh, if we uh, do not define uh, the uh, local variable so, so it uh, this function access the global variable the global variable then we, we when you run this code global scope x is then access the global scope and local scope x is we call the function scope and returns 10 not 6 if we uh, disable this and run the code again it returns the global scope only because of we, we we have no local variables inside this function so we can access 
the log the global variable only so this is what uh, 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 variables we can access either globally or locally the other is we can modify the global variables inside the function that is in the local scope using the keyword global if you need to create a global variable but are stuck in the local scope you can use the global keyword the global keyword makes the variable global uh, let's try to uh, define a function uh, global scope if you use global uh, keyword you can uh, create a global uh, scope not a local scope so you can access this uh, x in the global scope only uh, i mean in the global scope also so x is to, uh, first we uh, define uh, key, uh, the uh, variable x in the global scope then assign value to that variable then return the result this is we call the function global scope we also directly print access x so it returns 20 so we can access the x the variable x in the global scope and also in the local scope so we can use if you define variables in the uh, function as a global so we use we, we should have to use uh, a global keyword unless we cannot access that variable if you uh, remove this this global uh, scope once it is uh, defined it, 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 it can let's try another y 90 let's print y yeah it, it generates an error because of y is not in the global scope but x uh, but also x is in the global scope so variables which is defined using the keyword global it can be accessible anywhere in the program as a global scope so we also uh, use a global keyword if you want to make a change or if you want to uh, modify your uh, global variables the value of global variables you can use a global scope first we define the global uh, variable x equals to uh, i mean uh, uh, the value of x is 200 and we define uh, we define uh, uh, i mean function and define the variable global make the global variable x to change the value of a global variable inside the function then we change the value of x 300 previously it was uh, 200 then now uh, we access this variable so the value is changed to 200 200 i mean 300 not 200 so this is what uh, modifying the global variable using entire the function using the keyword global so uh, this is what accessing variables either globally or locally so we can define variables uh, using a global scope uh, i mean a global keyword uh, to uh, access uh, that variable uh, in the uh, global scope